we're back with Kingdom Hearts. Let's let's get to reading those reports, shall we? Now I don't know if I should just leave this as a part, what, just public, or if I should just unlist this and put it in the the description. But whatever. Let's start reading them. Much of my life has been dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge. That knowledge has guarded this world well. Not a soul doubts that. I am blessed with my people's smiles and respect. But though I am called a sage, there are things I do not understand. I believe in darkness sleep. I believe darkness sleeps in every heart. No matter how pure, given the chance, the smallest drop can spread and swallow the heart. I have witnessed it many times. Darkness. Darkness of the heart. How was it born? How does it come to affect us so? As ruler of this world, I must find the answers. I must find them before the world is lost to those taken by the darkness. It is my duty to expose what this darkness really is. I shall conduct the following experiments. Extract the darkness from the person's heart. Cultivate darkness in a pure heart. Both suppress and amplify the darkness within. The experiments cause the test subject's heart to collapse, including those of the most stalwart. How fragile our heart are. My treatment produced no signs of recovery. I combined those who had completely lost their hearts beneath the castle. Some time later, I went below and was greeted by the strangest sight creatures that seem born of darkness. What are they? Are they truly sentient beings? Could they both could they be shadows of those who lost their heart in my experiments? The shadows that crawl beneath the castle. Are they people are they the people who lost their heart? Or incarnations of darkness? Or something entirely beyond imagination? All my knowledge has provided no answer. One thing I am sure of is that they are entirely devoid of emotion. Perhaps further the study will unlock the mysteries of the heart. Fortunately, there is no shortage of test samples. They are multiplying underground even as I write this report. They still need a name, those with la who lack heart hearts. I call them heartless. Heartless appear in groups and are multiplying rapidly. I provided them both living and non living samples. They responded only to the living. They seem to multiply after absorbing something from the living creatures. Their prey vanishes without a trace. I believe the Heartless are taking hearts. They are born from those who have lost their hearts and thrive on hearts seized from mothers. The hearts taken by the Heartless heartless themselves. Though I lack proof, I am confident in this hypothesis. I must also study their behavioral principles. Though they lack motion, they do seem to have some intelligence. How to communicate with them? It's just occurred to me. Could they be darkness in people's hearts? To study heartless behavior. I picked one out of out for observing observation. I wiggled its antenna and as if sensing a target headed deep into the castle. In the deepest part of the castle, it, its antenna began vibrating as if searching for something. Suddenly, a strange door appeared. I had never known of its existence. It had a large keyhole but didn't seem to be locked. So I opened the door. What I saw on the other side mystified me. It was that power mass of energy. That night, I observed a great meteor shower in the sky. Could it be related to the door that I have opened? A massive core of energy lay beyond the door, sought by the Heartless. It may well be the ultimate goal of all Heartless. But what is that energy? I had devised a hypothesis based upon my observation in, of, Heart, of the Heartless. The Heartless feed on others' hearts, and they yearn for the energy core. That thing beyond door must be a heart too. The world of this, the heart of this world. 
There is no proof, but having felt the immense energy, I am certain that this was the heart of the world. The Heartless are trying to take hearts not only from all living creatures, but from the world itself. But what do they mean to do with the heart of the world? I am now studying materials from the meteors that rained down that fateful night. What to find? The material is foreign to our world. It is elastic to the touch, and when two pieces are combined, they bond easily. None of the records I've scoured even mention such a substance. Was it introduced to this world when I opened that door? I wonder how many other such materials drift through the atmosphere of this tiny world. I wish I could soar off and find out. Could there be uncharted worlds up there? My curiosity never ceases to grow, but I should stop speaking of such unrealistic dreams. For now, there is no way to venture outside the world. My people and I are all but prisoners of this tiny place. There is no doubt that the Heartless are deeply connected to people's hearts. Further study may unravel both their motivations and their mysteries, shrouding the heart. As a start, I've built a device that artificially creates Heartless. By recreating the conditions that spawn the Heartless naturally, I should be able to produce them artificially. This device is a culmination of all of my research thus far. The machine test run successfully created Heartless. This may be a step towards creating a heart from nothing. This artificially and naturally created Heartless showed nearly identical traits, but the two types should remain distant from the other purposes of this experiment, so I will mark this one that are created artificially. Simply astonishing. Today I had a guest from another world. He is a king, and his vessel is built of the material that composed the meteors. He called these pieces gummy blocks. It seems that my open that opening my door or open it seems that my opening that door has opened a path to interval travel. We talked for countless hours, but one story is particularly caught, in particular caught my interest, that of a key, called the Keyblade. The Keyblade is said to hold phenomenal power. One legend says its wielder saved this world, while another says that he brought chaos and ruin upon it. I must know what this Keyblade is. A key opens doors, and must be connected to the door that I have opened. Just as uh, people have hearts, so do worlds. The same can be said of the stars in the night sky, and deep within each world lies the door to its heart. A heartless desire those hearts born out of the darkness in people's hearts they seek to return to a greater heart. Yes, that's it. The heartless come from people's hearts as does the darkness. Is the core of the world's hearts the world of the heartless? I will pursue the answer there and become all-knowing. My path is set. I shall seek out the wielder of the Keyblade and the princesses. My body is too frail for such a journey, but I must do this. I will cast it off and plunge into the depths of the darkness. Opening the door to a world's heart causes its wall to crumble. These fragments are seen as shooting stars. This explains why these gummy blocks can travel freely to the other worlds. I know the catalyst of this collapse, the appearance of the Heartless. However, it will take time to search out the world's doors and to retrieve each heart. Furthermore, the doors can be locked using a keyblade, making the heart forever unattainable. I must take action before the wielder of this key appears in this world. If the princesses and the keyblade are connected, they should resonate. I have chosen a girl. I don't know if she holds the princess's power, but I'll find out. She may lead me to the key bearer. I'll just set her free and observe. The body is gone. The heart should have returned to the heartless, and yet, nothing. And one is unlike any other. Its memories remain, and it has yet to take form of heartless. A close eye must be kept on the situation. Much is still unknown. To get the realm of darkness, one must go through the doors of Kingdom Hearts. The place where the world's hearts connect. Beyond this world is a place in which darkness reigns. Details should be archived in a separate report. There are many worlds in existence, some of which we know nothing about. The world in which we live, 
the realm of darkness, the realm of light, and the world in between, wherein lies true nirvana. Where does the body go when it separates from the heart? If the soul remains within the body, is it still considered to be deceased? When the heart returns to the heartless, the physical form disappears, but that is merely true in this world. Perhaps this body exists in another form in another world. If that is the case, then it is possible for one to exist in two worlds, a being that is neither darkness nor light, belonging nowhere, abandoned by its heart, a mere shell of its former self. The relationship between the heart and nobody and body is complex, however, I am certain that if yourself exists here, then by definition the other cannot truly exist. The other one the other, the one which does not exist, shall be dubbed nobody. There it is. Well, I flipped a lot there, but as you can see in ads and reports, he's been searching he's been researching pretty much everything, even things that we don't even know about yet. Like a nobody. Sora and Goofy and Donald have no idea what a nobody is. And we already fought one. We fought Xemnas. Nobody. Which is, as you might have guessed, Ansem's nobody. Since what we fought there was Ansem's shadow, or Heartless. Which is the Ansem that we fought like at the final battle at the end of the world. But for now, I think this is it for Kingdom Hearts. This is the final, final, final video. That will probably just stay in the description of the Sephiroth battle. And yeah, we won't be doing the item synthesis. Because we still got a lot to go, and I don't want to be wasting time trying to find the enemies, or trying to make the enemies spawn, and then risking the chance of not them not dropping it, and all that. But if you wanted to see the items in this list, then I'll put it at the end of this video. Actually, yeah. So, you know, I'll just do this right now. I'm just not gonna cut. I'll probably cut in the editing. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave this in. Who knows? Maybe what I'll do. But uh, whatever it is, I'm doing it. We have uh, three, five, eight, two, over two. Alright, here's the item synthesis in case you wanted to look at it. So I'll make a potion that's a short cottage, energy bangle, mystery, or power chain, magic armament, experience healing. I make it ether, card hearing. Wow, we have a lot of raw shards. Damn. Alright, thunderstar, bright gem. Ah, god. Blaze shards, VR gem. I'm trying to think of where I get where I get most of these. I have frost gem, thunder gem. Frost gem and thunder gem you can get from uh, the enemies in Atlantica. And uh, the white mushrooms. If you do the all blizzards or all thunder. Or, yeah. Lightning stone, frost stone, lightning stone, lightning stone you get from shit. I think I already I think I already explained this stuff. <laughs> so whatever. Save up. Oh dark ring. Mastery ring. Gaia bangle. Power shot. Mystery goo. <laughs> Mithril. Yeah, mystery goo. Elixir, defense up, uh, art guard, 
Two Stars, Atlas Armlet, Crystal Crown, Dark Matter, Mega Elixir, Power Up, Cosmic Arts, Experience Bracelet, Revan, Fantasista, Fantasista, whatever, Seven Elements, Ultimate Weapon. Here are all the. Here's all the last items on this, this list. You got the ultimate weapon, the ultimate keyblade, raises the max MP by two and possesses maximum power and attributes. So it's way better. Well, not way better. It's what's better than all the other the keyblades that he uh, sort of has, which is why it's called the ultimate. Well, the ultimate weapon. As you can clearly see, I like the design of it, and then the one in the sequel too. Here's a Fantatist or whatever. A staff that focuses solely on magic, raises max MP by 3. And here's the 7 elements. Shield focuses solely on magic, raises max MP by 3. I they just decided to keep the mighty shield because it's the strongest. Goofy doesn't really need MP. I don't really let Goofy use any of his MP attacks. So there's no point in have, letting him have it if he doesn't really use any of his MP. I guess I do have the rocket equipped just because I had one extra left. Oh, you know what? No. And probably because I was getting jackpot because I needed the money. I have MPA stuff for that. But for yeah, that's it. That's been quite the journey. God damn it. And god damn it, do I love, I love Kingdom Hearts. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad that this is a thing. I'm glad I was able to share this game with you. So. so, see you later. <laughs> Bye.